What's up, guys? It's me, Eric, and today I'm going to break down our top five CRL matchups of the season. At number five, we have Bruzani and Coco in the July monthly final. These two were seated seventh and eighth and gave us one of the best matchups of the lower bracket we've had all year. Not able to hit, Bruzani had a big opening and that was most likely his last chance to make anything happen. Looks like we're gonna go to game two, one game in hand for the South Korean. Applied pressure at the bridge, has to bait out a border there, or drop a border there for Bruzani to make sure he doesn't lose the tower. And here we go to game number three. One of these guys gonna walk away with $6,000. He recognized early on, this RG is not my win condition. My win condition is the lightning. I would have loved to see Bruzani switch lanes, even though it was a late in the game at number four we have line versus morden two crl veterans and titans of the game where line caused another upset for morden taking the bracket reset in the grand final and the hunter with the delivery again nice cleanup here and as you talked about before not having to play mortar on defense valkyrie a little bit high here oh but my the ice spirit will help stop those pigs and the mortar gets a shot on tower that gets the, the wow out of line I, I don't think anyone thought that mortar was in the right position and that could be enough on its own minor yeah. goes to the front eq comes in and this is going to be the minor. Does it get its last shot? No. Nope. That is a great example of it. Somehow, some way. What? Oh, I was like, where's the earthquake, man? Where is it? <laughs> Zap trying to control here at the bridge. Minor goes to the back, right into the spears. Oh. The fly machine gets on tower, and there you go. Morton takes game number one. Fireball in on the archers. Snowball in behind. King Tower does get activated, but skeletons, can they do it? Can one skeleton hit? No, cannot. Bomb Tower is in. Hog is still alive. 101. Log is in. Nothing is there. Nothing is there to catch the miner. There's the NATO. Morton loses by 29 HP. At number three, we have Molite versus Mini Minter, dating all the way back to our first monthly final where Molite fought his way all the way through the lower bracket to beat Mini Minter in a bracket reset yet again. But oh. it has to be happy. Oh, and a missed fireball on a flying machine. That could be absolutely devastating here. Uh, a bit of a fireball issue, and now it feels like momentum shifting heavily towards Mini Minter. Tan side, fireball to try to knock it back a little bit. These Snowball hits, and creates yeah. some big, huge room here. And that hog rider going hog wild wow. on the left-hand side. And that's going to be a 2-0 sweep for Muhammad Light. And just like that, Mini Minter back in the lead, down on Elixir at the moment, and a nice protection oh, miner. And the wow. cannon cart connects for Muhammad Light. And you give the wow. Probably everyone watching <laughs> gives the wow. Fireball will finish things up. Off, and Mohammed Light is now one game away from winning our February tournament. At number two, we have Lucas, the only back-to-back -back winner in this year's CRL. He not only showed amazing gameplay and analysis, but he showed us that he is a true force to watch out for in the World Final. Fisherman. The boy slides on through, and that is a ton of damage. It's getting Slapping tanked the heck out of that tower. I cannot believe it was getting tanked for every single hit. Nice fireball in, minor hit on the right-hand side. Snowball gets oh, it done, he and does there it. you go. 144 HP, KK can't believe it. Lucas just became your June champion and takes home 20 grand. The Fisherman pulls a cannon card in, and that should do it, Rich. That was crazy. Trying to get his way in on the right-hand side. Fireball gets down. Not gonna happen. GG, well played. Back to back. Lucas Gamer, your June and July Clash Royale League cheer. And finally, at number one, we have Ta. He came out of nowhere. No one knew who he was, what his gameplay was all about, but he was able to edge out all the CRL Titans in this monthly final, which was arguably one of the hardest to take the crown and win it all. So here we go. The Super Grand Final, best of three. Loser takes home $10,000. Winner doubles that amount and gets a huge step forward towards our world championship. I think the smart choice for Ta is to go for matchup. Try to go for 80-20s, 90-10s, 100 zeros if he, can, if he can put it that way. With Mother Witch and E-Barbs both out there, but Mother Witch in particular, Graveyard in game number one, you're rolling the dice and every once in a while you come up snake eyes. Tesla is there, but this is basically all Ta for the rest of this game. We are going most likely to a game number three in our super grand finals now here we go sandbox trying to hold on miner comes in tesla working can he stop this miner no king tower wow. goes down and we are going to a best of one for twenty thousand dollars ta is in the lead yeah. as we approach triple 80 seconds left 
$20,000 on the line for first. The table's turned here in Sandbox oh, and a lot man. of trouble. This is a lot of trouble. That mother witch staying alive out of the poison. This is an ocean of elixir coming across. This oh, is going to do my. it. Todd has just won $20,000, and we didn't know who he was two days ago. With more exciting matches on the way, let's go witness some CRL gameplay that is definitely top five worthy.